the art historian's bicycle becomes an e-bike. Computers are bicycles for the mind, said Steve Jobs. Since its creation in the 1940s, the Icon class subject classification system has been considered as the art historian's bicycle. It's not meant to replace the work done by catalogers and art historians, but to make their work go faster and farther. With the advances in computer vision tools that became practically accessible for working on image collections of reasonably large sizes, the art historian's bicycle has been given an upgrade so that it enables us to explore even larger territories at a much greater speed. Here is a brief introduction to Icon Class for those of you not familiar with the system. We're looking at an image from the Folger Shakespeare Library. Apart from the caption, one can add Icon Class codes to indicate what can be seen on the image. Think of it as telephone numbers for topics. So here we have a bedroom, has the code 41A23, or a two-poster bed, 41A76121. And you can become even more detailed, depicting actions or gestures or postures of human beings in very great detail, or abstract concepts, unrequited love, confusion, bewilderment, panic, or specific scenes from an item. What's important are these codes now seen in red. There are alphanumeric notations and is a hierarchical system. As these codes become longer, descending into the tree, they become much more detailed and it carries a lot of context depending on which level of detail you choose for your image. Here we can see the item that we have just been discussing in its context with the codes as it has been assigned. And each one of these codes has its hierarchical system. And you can imagine a system whereby you can then use these items to flexibly tune the precision or the recall of your searches in an incredibly detailed way. The global community of Icon Class users have been describing their content for more than 60 years. A very large collection of items have been described and we have tried to collect as many as we can. At the moment we have around 750,000 objects, both textual and visual, that have been described using Icon Class. This is mostly manual labour done by specialists and hence a very costly endeavour. Can we speed this up? Can we help the cataloger in doing their description work? Let's have a brief look at how a cataloger would normally use the Icon Class system to describe some images. We're on the Icon Class website in which you could browse or search for items. Normally, one would use words to search for items. But could this be done even easier? I'm taking an image from my hard disk and dragging and dropping a JPEG file into the Icon Class search box. Here it is, an image of a sleeping lion. And I have some suggestions from the item class system that it could be a beast of prey, a lion, potentially a sleeping lion. By clicking on the images on the right hand side of the screen we could iterate and search for other visually similar images. Does this also work for more complex images? Here is an example using a mythological item. In this case it is the mythological figure Hercules carrying some pillars on his back. We have the suggestions from Icon Class and by clicking on this item I can see other Im images which are not visually similar but semantically similar. By 
copying one of these images to the clipboard, I can continue my search using visually similar images. How does this work? We are standing on the shoulders of giants. Firstly, for the visual similarity searches, we're using the OpenAI Open Clip Neural Network. For the similarity searches, it is the Facebook AI similarity search to, to do the nearest neighbor search. And what is particularly useful is the auto FICE library to fine tune the parameters for the nearest neighbor search. What is the mechanism? Firstly, we do a visual similarity search to find the matching images. The icon class notations are extracted and the list is sorted by frequency of usage and we display the top 10 n hits. The user can then iterate using either the icon class notations or the visual similarity search. But is this sufficient? Do we need to do any f further work? To illustrate why we need to do further work, I'm taking the image familiar to many of you, used in our workshop, and using doing a visual similarity search using that image. The icon class system tells us it's as top hits either Pluto or Jupiter or Zeus, but this is not very clear to us. We need to fine tune the system to improve the matches. I'm quite curious to hear from the workshop organizers uh, whether this is uh, Jupiter, Zeus, Pluto, and what the image was that was used. We would like to improve the user interface to make it more easy for users to select subsections or regions of the image and play more easily with a choice of images. We would like to add much more bulk data and invite users of icon class to contribute their collections to improve the search matches and also allow end users to interactively annotate their datasets and contribute new content. It's now time for questions. Thank you for your attention.